Welcome to the Data All YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how do we append uh, data in Strata. Uh, by append, we means that let's just say if we have certain data and we want to uh, stack uh, another set of data onto it, then how would we do that? Let me show you some files. So uh, here I have different files. We have stock prices for different firms. We have firm uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and they all contains the same variables. So this firm one contains um, the data related to the first firm, uh, its opening price, high, low, closing, and its dates. And similarly, uh, for the firm two, we have the same kind of data. So what we want is we want to take the uh, firm one, uh, firm two, and then we want to stack it uh, under the uh, the data where uh, the firm one ends because the variable names are the same and the data is the same. So we do not want them to be in uh, separate columns. We want to stack them one beneath another. So that way we would have a panel data. So let's uh, see how we do that. So this is what we call uh, appending data in Strata. So there are different ways of doing that and there are different options that we're going to explore. Uh, so starting with the first and the easy way, so we had uh, form one, form two, and form three. These are different uh, data files. So you your data files might have different names. Uh, in my case, I have these names. Uh, I, I do have other files, but I'm going to just work with first uh, three files. So form one, two, and three. And remember, you can use either the extension or you can do that without the extension uh, because Strata would know that uh, these are the data, uh, Strata data files. So we use the append command and then we use the uh, the word using, and then we specify uh, the name of the uh, files that we want to append. So if we execute this file, what would happen is that the code would execute and uh, now we get these symbols and if I can show you uh, the data set, so we have this form one and then beneath that we have form two uh, and then we have form three data. If we can tabulate that the symbol and that would give us how many observations do we have for each form. Uh, now that was when uh, we do not have any data in our status memory, but let 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 me just clear this and let's say if I have opened this from one file, right? So I have this from one opened in my status window. Uh, now uh, here you'd have to understand two terminologies. One is called the master file, and the second one is called the using file. In this case. This opened data is called the master file. So from one's data becomes the master file. Now what I want to do is I want to append the rest of the firm's data onto this uh, firm one. So I do not need to close and you then use this command over here. What I can simply do is uh, I have this firm one's data open and I'm going to use this append command again, the word using, and this is how we write the append command and then specify the rest of the two firms. And if I tabulate, we get exactly the same data that we had previously, right? So there are different ways of doing that. You can either directly append those files without opening the first one, or you can open the first one and then append the rest of the files. Okay, now imagine we have multiple files and we want to append those uh, those files. Uh, so let me just uh, first clear this file, uh, this data in the status memory, and uh, let me show you these files. So I have different files over here. Uh, some of the files are numbered in series and the rest of the files are not numbered. Uh, I just want to append uh, just these six files, right? So what I do is, uh, uh, I use a command over here and let me just amend this command. So what I'm saying over here is that take all the uh, data files. So with this extension, I'm specifying that you should only focus on the data files. So there might be Excel files or do files in this folder, but do not uh, worry about those files, just focus on the data files and then only focus on the files whose name starts with the uh, with the word firm right 
we can have any alphabets over here and then i have used asterisk and that means a, that is a wildcard and that means you can have anything over here so what it would do is it would take all these uh, files that start with the name form and they have an extension of dot dta so they are static data files and then i'm going to use this for each loop and uh, append all those files now let me just tabulate and we should have six forms right we also have this generate option and uh, the issue with our current appending is that we do not know i mean if it wasn't for the symbol uh, we wouldn't know which data is coming from which specific file so what we want is what we want is we want to have a source. So there's an option called generate and what that generate would do is it would uh, create a variable by the name of source and that would contain the data related to uh, uh, which file uh, the data specific data is coming from. So if I execute that, uh, so we have this source variable over here and if I sh can show you that, it is saying that uh, appended data set one, and then we have appended data set two, uh, and so on and so forth, right? Uh, so we can also label them uh, by going to the data uh, variable manager, uh, going over here, and then if I can manage, uh, what I can do is instead of having this appended data set one, uh, I can edit the value and I can uh, say, call it, uh, appended from form one dot dta right and that would be more descriptive kind uh, of a label let me just show you uh, so we can do that for other labels as well if you want to uh, then we can have uh, variable name so uh, what does that mean is that and the name of the variables are uh, f underscore symbol, f underscore open, etc, etc. But if we look at our data set, we have symbol opening high low. So there is an additional prefix of f underscore symbol. What that means is that the name of the variables uh, is different in both the files. So how, how would that work? So let me just clear this data set and let me append this form one and this rename form, right? Uh, rename uh, data file. Uh, if I do that, what Stata would do is it would, uh, instead of stacking that files, what it would do is it would uh, create more variables by the new name, right? Because it do not know how do we stack. So for the form two, because the names were different, it would have a different uh, column. So a better way could have been that uh, what, what I could have done is that I could have renamed these uh, variables in the source file that is the rename file and then i could have appended them uh, right okay and then what we can do is we can limit the variables which we want to append uh, let me again just clear this data so in 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 all these files we have different variables we have high low open close etc i just want to keep symbol opening and high variable and that th this is what the keep uh, option would do i can specify the name of the symbols uh, name of the variables and that uh, only those variables would be imported uh, right and uh, if i had this form one opened uh, again i can do it the same way but the difference would be that for the form one we would have all the data because i had that opened and for the for the rest of the forms that I had appended, it would just import the variables that I have specified uh, in the keep option, right? So this is the difference between these two commands. Then there can be sometimes uh, a data conflict. So for example, let me just show you this string file. Now in this string file, this closing variable uh, is uh, colored red and in red in stata means that it is a string variable it is an alphabetical uh, variable right uh, and that is because there is this null uh, data let's say we have ex imported this data from a database and in database this null stands for nothing right for the missing values uh, now what would happen if i wanted to append uh, these two files right so from one in form one, the closing variable is uh, 
uh, a, a numerical variable, but in the string, the closing variable is uh, an alphabetical uh, or a string variable. So if we do that, what it would tell us that the variable closing is float in the master file, uh, but string in the using file. So what we can do is it is telling us that we can use this append force option, right? Uh, and let's just use this force option and see what that would do now. It would work, but what had happened is that this is the form one where the closing variable was numerical. And this is the form two where the closing variable was uh, a string variable. What it had done is that all those string values were removed and converted into missing values. This is not what we want. What we want is that we want to just remove those uh, uh, those alphabetical values from this string data, and then we want to append them. So let's open this string file uh, where we have this uh, closing va variable that contains certain uh, alphanumerical uh, data uh, or alphabetical data, string data. So we can use this D string and this D string would do is it would convert a string into a numerical variable. So we want to convert closing. Uh, we already have a, a, a whole video on this. So if you want to understand uh, the D string command in detail, you can uh, go uh, to our YouTube channel and watch that video. So D string closing replace uh, and force. So what we are going to do is we are going to replace this variable. Uh, and what that would do is it would convert it into, into numerical where it cannot convert it into numerical. Uh, it would just replace that with a missing value. And now we save this string data and just append form one and form two, right? And that would work perfectly fine. So we have form one, right, and form two. There are a couple of other issues that you might face. So if you have value labels or valuable labels and you want to merge, then it would just keep the value or valuable labels from the first file. So if you have different variable labels or value labels, then it would just keep them from the first file. Uh, then we also have this no label uh, that would not just, uh, that would not import any labels, variable or value labels. We cannot just, uh, we can specify not to import nodes. Uh, so these are different options that you can work with in the append uh, command. So thanks for watching this video. Do subscribe and do hit the bell icon.